In this lecture, we are going to learn binary coded decimal. In short, it is called as BCD code, where B stands for binary, C stands for coded, and D stands for decimal. In this code, each decimal digit is represented by a 4-bit binary number. We have to focus on each decimal digit. What do we mean by each decimal digit? And as you already know, base in case of decimal number system is equal to 10. So I can write base or radix small r equals to 10. And by this information, we can say that decimal number system is having 10 different or distinct digits. And what are they? They are 0 to r minus 1. And in this case, we have 0 to 10 minus 1 or I can say 0 to 9. So 0 to 9 are the 10 distinct digits we are having in decimal number system. So by decimal digit, we mean 0 to 9. 1, 4, 3 is not a decimal digit. It is a decimal number. Let me write this down. This is decimal number not a decimal digit in this we have three decimal digits first one is one this one and this four and this three all are decimal digits so I hope you now know what is decimal number and what is decimal digits and by using binary coded decimal we will represent 0 to 9 the decimal digits by 4 bit binary numbers so this is all we need to do in BCD code. Now let's talk about positional weight in case of BCD code. Positional weights associated to the binary weights in BCD code are 8421. Positional weights are 8421. And hence sometimes BCD code is called as 8421 code so don't confuse yourself with 8421 code and bcd code they are the same now we will write down bcd code for decimal digits and in our first column we have decimal digits decimal digits and in second column we will have bcd code for the decimal digits decimal digits are 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7, 8 and 9 these are the decimal digits and now we will write down BCD code for each and every decimal digits in case of BCD code as I have already told you the positional weights are 8, 4, 2, 1 so the weight of MSB is 8 then we have 4 then 2 and weight of LSB is 1 so for 0 we have to make all the 4 bits equal to 0 and uh, we will represent each and every decimal digit by 4 bit binary number that's why I have taken 4 bits to represent 1 we will write 0 0 0 1 because weight of LSB is 1 for 2 we will write 0 0 1 0 for 3 we will write 0 0 1 1 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 and for 4 we have 0 1 0 0 for 5 0 1 0 1 4 plus 1 is equal to 5 and for 6 0 1 1 0 4 plus 2 is equal to 6 7 is represented by 0 1 1 1 4 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 7 8 is represented by 1 0 0 0 and 9 is represented by 1 0 0 1 8 plus 1 is equal to 9 so this set of codes is BCD code BCD code for decimal digits for decimal digits and now we will move to next point that is invalid BCD codes these are valid BCD codes but we also have invalid BCD codes let's talk about them as we are using 4 bits the total possibility is 2 raised to power 4 
that is equal to 16 and uh, we are only representing 0 to 9 that is 10 we are only representing 10 out of 16 possibilities so what about the rest of the cases when the number is 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 what about these cases 10 to 15 are invalid because they are not decimal digits but they are decimal numbers 10 to 15 are all decimal numbers not decimal digit as you can see in 10 we have two decimal digits 1 and 0 and uh, by using two decimal digits 1 and 0 we have decimal number 10 in the same way for 11 we have 1 and 1 for 12 1 and 2 for 13 we have 1 and 3 for 14 we have 1 and 4 and for 15 we have 1 and 5 so they are not decimal digits but they are decimal numbers hence we will put a don't care for all these six cases they all are don't cares invalid or don't cares now we will move to next important point and uh, in this point we will discuss representation of decimal numbers to BCD okay so in this point the second point we will discuss conversion or representation conversion of decimal numbers to BCD I will try to explain this by the help of two examples in first example the decimal number is 17 and we have to find out BCD equivalent of 17 and as I have already told you 17 is not a decimal digit it is decimal number and in this decimal number we have two decimal digits the first decimal digit is 1 the first decimal digit is 1 and the second decimal digit is 7 and from this table you can clearly see the representation of 1 is 0, 0, 0, 1. so I will represent this 1 by 0, 0, 0, 1. and uh, we can represent 7 7 by 0, 1, 1, 1. so I will represent 7 by 0, 1, 1, 1. so these are the BCD representation for the decimal digit 1 and decimal digit 7 so finally we can have 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 as the BCD representation of number 17 I think now you can easily convert you can easily convert 10 to 15 to their equivalent BCD number for example if you want to represent 10 first we have to represent 1 and 1 is 0 0 0 1 and then you have to represent 0 and 0 is 0 0 0 0 so we have 0 0 0 0 so this is the BCD representation of number 10 in the same way if you want to represent 12 let's see how we can represent 12 first I will represent 1 1 is 0 0 0 1 and then I will represent 2 and 2 is represented by 0 0 1 0 so this is BCD representation of 12 now we will move to next example which will make these things more clear in second example we have to represent 1 5 6 to its equivalent BCD number first I will represent 1 1 is represented by 0 0 0 1 5 is represented by 0 1 0 1 you can refer the table and 6 is represented by 0 1 1 0 so this is 1 this is 5 and this is 6 very simple and they are in BCD I think you now know how to convert a decimal number to BCD and we can move to third point in third point we will do the reverse of this we will convert BCD number back to decimal so in third point we will convert BCD to decimal let's take one example 
in first example we have to convert 1 0 1 0 0 this is the number and this is in BCD we want the decimal equivalent of this BCD number so let's see what we can do this is a little bit tricky so you have to focus how to do this we will start from right and we will make group of four bits because I have already told you in BCD code we represent each decimal digit by a four bit binary number so we will start from right and we will make group of four bits this is the first group and uh, in second group we only have one bit so what we will do we will add three zeros and it will make no difference the number is going to be same and in this way we have our second group and you can use the table that we have made here this table and uh, when you refer this table you can clearly see 0 1 0 0 is nothing but 4 0 1 0 0 is 4 so we have 4 from the first group and in second group we have 1 so 14 is the number in decimal so this is the answer for first example now we will move to second example in second example the BCD number is 100 zero zero, 1001 zero zero one. this is the BCD number we have and now we will convert it back to decimal let's do it quickly again we will make group of four bits from right this is the first group in second group we only have three bits so I will add one extra bit here and in this way we will have four bits from first group we have 1001 zero zero one. by using the table we have made 1001 zero zero one is 9 so first group is giving us 9 and second group is giving us 4 zero 0100 zero zero is 4 in first example also we had 4 zero 0100 zero zero is 4 so the decimal number is 49 you can see how simple is the conversion now I will stop conversion part here and uh, I will talk a little bit about packed BCD number this number here is also called as packed BCD packed BCD now what do we mean by packed BCD BCD numbers representing the decimal numbers beyond 9 are called as packed BCD here we are representing the decimal number 156 which is obviously greater than 9 and the BCD representation of 156 is called as packed BCD very simple now I will try to compare binary with BCD a very important part of this presentation and the last part the comparison between the comparison between binary and BCD let's take one example the number in decimal is equal to 10 this is in decimal and we want to represent this number in binary and BCD in binary 10 is represented by 1010 zero, one, zero. we already know this and in BCD 10 is represented by 0001 zero, 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 zero. So this is how we represent 10 in BCD and 10 in binary. Let's take another example and in this example we will represent 12. In binary 12 is represented by 1100 zero, zero. 8 plus 4 is 12 and in BCD it is represented by 0001 zero, 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 2 is represented by 0010. Zero, zero, zero. So this is how we represent 12 in BCD and binary. Now the first point that comes in our mind is the number of bits. In case of binary we are only using 4 bits but in case of BCD we are using more than 4 bits. So we can say that binary coded decimal requires more bits than binary to represent the same decimal number so it is less efficient. Let me write this down. Binary coded decimal is less efficient than binary because it is using more number of bits as compared to binary the next point is the arithmetic operations if you want to perform the addition of BCD numbers then it is going to be more complicated as compared to binary 
the same case is there with the subtraction if you perform the subtraction of bcd number it is going to be complicated so these are the two points and uh, this defines that binary representation is much better as compared to bcd because bcd is less efficient as it is using more number of bits and also it is difficult to perform arithmetic operations in bcd this is all for this presentation now we will move to homework problems in first problem you have to convert the decimal number to bcd the decimal number is 37 in second homework problem you have to convert the decimal number 186 to bcd and in third homework problem convert the decimal number 3489 to bcd so what we have to do we have to convert these three decimal numbers to bcd convert to bcd and in fourth homework problem in fourth homework problem the bcd number is 100110 this is the BCD number and uh, you have to convert it back to decimal. In fifth homework problem, the number is 001-1001-1000. This is the BCD number and you have to convert it back to decimal. Convert to decimal. So this is all for this presentation. If you have doubt regarding any part of this lecture, go ahead and ask in comment section.